right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Bam, bam! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your club. roster specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice. Right hook to the body. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice head kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Over and over he landed these 
big body kick. Lee's shot there is blocked. Big leg kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Counterpunch landed there by Lee. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now connects with a right. Back and forth we go! Nice punch here. Just misses there with the left. For him there, very nice. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Punch over the top. Nice kick to the midsection. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Huge! Fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. I mean, it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Just unable to quite find that range. Watch the punch. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very active, very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice right hand. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a nice. nice punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice straight right lance. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. What a round. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Watch the strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Take down Lance. 
Close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Straight punch land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Beautiful kick. Just over three minutes to go. Left hand punch from the clinch. Body kick now by Lee. Three minutes now to go in round two. Slips the shot. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh, what a punch. Try to establish that jab. Head kick. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And he landed the right hand there. Whiffs on that offering. That one, that one. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Pretty significant well to the left side. And misses with the right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. What a body kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big punch land. Ooh. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge block there. Well, he misses with the left. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Beautiful strike. Try to knock me out. You one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Ten, Ten minutes on. in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Good. Oh! Oh! He's rocked. 
was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. And now he's got the tie clinch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big punch land. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, has the guard closed here. Back to the feet now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Little body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice loop and punch. Look at him. Blocks that kick to the body. Slips to avoid the run. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Uppercut lands for him. Game of inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. to the body. land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.